Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be explaining uh, the customs from the community parts 2.0, how they work and why they're default to off by default. Uh, so basically those are things that are kind of a bit more unique than what you would you expect from a normal patch which uh, purpose is to rebalance uh, the game in order to make more stuff viable. It's not the usual skill changes to characters or so, or weapon buffs. This, for example, takes the striker and makes it to the penetrator, which is a laser shotgun. Pretty cool one. This makes the mining laser use a charge shot mechanic when you aim. Uh, those are some cool stuff in here. So, because those things are uh, a bit more unique, we have them in the customs uh, category, defaulted to off, and you can choose which ones you want on, which ones you do not want. Uh, stuff like weapon changing, elemental ladding, this is the blowfly uh, added as the ability to have all the elements. Uh, this is the viral marketeer, having all the elements, etc. etc. So, and this one, the red one, I'll talk about this one in a minute. So, uh, some stuff from the past 1.0 were moved in here, so, such as the supernova, the hammer buster, um, and there are a few new things here as you can see. So, let's explain how this works. So, here we are. We have our trusty little club trap going game. This is without the parts. I haven't exact anything as you can see here. If we, uh, you can see vendors are normal. Ammo from vendors is as well normal. Well this is basically base game. Alright, let's let's go out. Let's enable a few things. Let's enable the patch. Now since nothing here is enabled, that will give us the weapon buffs, that will give us the skill changes, etc, etc, etc. So, for example, let's check that this is um, as it should. Yeah, we can see that uh, Fuzzy Logic has 4 ranks now, instead of only 3. Which makes it so you can actually get only one or the other of the routines and go further down, which is a change from the patch. Uh, right, as well as the double frag stacks skill. So the patch is running, we know that from that only. But again, if we check vendors, nothing changed in here. Why did, why did it have to be clapped in the box? Or the ammo capacity, same thing as usual. Okay. Okay. Let's go now and enable. Let's enable refill vendors and uh, let's talk about this one. This one was actually requested. Uh, many people told me that the mid unicycle is terrible and should be removed from claptraps uh, skills. Uh, I felt that uh, Mute Unicycle actually adds to Claptrap's randomness and that's pretty much his playstyle. So this option is red because you can only choose one of those three options in here. So if I press this, I cannot press that. See, it will tell me an error. Uh, so what do you do? Let's say you play a melee Claptrap and you want only meet unicycle and no other skill to appear ever on you. You choose that and uh, you press save and go in, re exec the patch, go in. Uh, let's spend some ammo before I go to my action skill. Uh, you understand why in a second. Let's go to yeah, a few more. Good. All right. Now, if I press the skill, it will be medium cycle. Yeah, and it will always be medium cycle. And now the reason I 
Jackson. Yeah, let's go for Jack. Yeah, Jack, sure. Anyway, uh, the reason I spent ammo now was so I could show you this. Uh, see what the text says completely refill your X bullets, ammo, cells, bullets, etc. etc. So, this is from the refill vendors option. This makes it so buying once, and there, you're full now. So, oh, that's a fun glitch. Been a while since that happened. Nice. Anyway, ah, uh, let's go on. This is as simple as it gets. Take what you want. Take what you don't want. Save. Go in. Go into the menu. Always. Uh, always save as offline or Borderlands 2. Never save as Borderlands the pre sequel. Um, there is uh, there are a few reasons for that, but let's not let's not get too much into it. All right, so now I, I deactivated those two options from before. As you can see, and if we go back in, well, the vendors won't change because I haven't made a revert option, but. So flappy. See? Something else. Uh, most of the times, in order to deactivate one of those, it will be much easier to just close the game, make your changes, reopen the game, and exec. But this one, the claptrap one, can be changed in game as frequently as you want. Most of the other ones, uh, that won't be the case actually. For most of them, maybe refill vendors and make vendors greater again. Yeah, those two will actually work if you deactivate them. The other ones won't really. So yeah, let's see. I believe yeah, the refill vendors well. reverted back to normal. Sure All right. Uh, in case you you don't have the filter tool yet for whatever reason, I'll put down a link to Light Chaos Man's uh, video. Where he has a link to, for, to the download, as well as I'll put the link for the Java runtime environment that you won't really need unless your uh, filter tool doesn't open if you just try to open it. If you try to open it and it says cannot open it, then you come here, you find your system, download whatever is needed, and it should work. You should put your um, uh, your filter tool in the binaries folder, which could be found in the Steam apps, Steam, Steam apps, um, common, Borderlands the pre sequel binaries. You put the filter tool in here, uh, don't mind all those TXTs, um, you won't have all those. <laughs> That's something I've done, yeah, it's my mod in progress or so, don't, don't mind them. Alright. So, yeah, you go in, you open it, it runs, you tick tick and take whatever you want, save, always save as a plan or Borderlands 2, and uh, that'll be it, I believe. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye.